cow love fornia cookies. A beep 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 echoes to the close-up corral of cow lafornia cow's dairy. Roxy, a first calf Holstein heifer, awakes to a sweet smell she has never experienced before. She stands up, following the scent to the edge of the corral, stretching her neck as far as she can, trying to find the source of this amazing aroma. What are you doing? asks Chloe, a cow pregnant with her second calf. Roxy snaps out of her trance. I've never been in this corral before, and I smell something sweet coming from that building. Is that her feed? I'm not sure where pregnant heifers eat. Chloe laughs. No, silly. We eat a mixture of oat hay, silage, alfalfa, and wheat. That helps us get the right nutrients to grow our babies and make great tasty milk. Milk? I'm going to produce milk? exclaims Roxy. Chloe sighs. Yes, you'll produce milk once your calf is born. First, you'll produce colostrum to feed your calf. Then, you'll produce milk to feed the world. In fact, that smell you're following goes great with our milk. Holy hey! That sounds like a big job, but I'm still wondering what that smell is, says Roxy. That building is the farmer's kitchen. The farmer's wife is making chocolate chip cookies for a school tour tomorrow, explains Chloe. What in the moo are chocolate chip cookies, questions Roxy. Those are treats for humans, like alfalfa hays for us, explains Chloe. Without our milk, those cookies couldn't be made. I thought they only drank our milk, Roxy states. No, they use it for all kinds of food products, like cheese, yogurt, butter, ice cream, and powdered milk, explains Chloe. Wow, that's amusing, says Roxy. Chloe interrupts. Those cookies contain butter and chocolate chips. Both have milk as their main ingredient. How did they put our milk in those products? asks Roxy. Butter is milk that has been churned, so the butter fat separates from the liquid. Our butter fat is very important. The better a farmer feeds us, the higher our butter fat content. And then, high quality dairy products are made from our milk, teaches Chloe. Butter fat is a very nutritious part of our milk. That's why humans consider milk one of nature's perfect foods. The chocolate chips are made with something called powdered milk. Powdered milk is by evaporating milk to dryness. They add the milk powder to liquid chocolate to make it creamy. I didn't know that people used our milk to make so many human food products, says Roxy. Most people don't realize that a lot of the food they eat comes from local dairies and farms, states Chloe. That's why it's important for schools to visit dairy farms like this one so that farmers can teach kids how their food is made. I heard there is going to be a tour tomorrow. Will we be a part of the tour? asked Roxy. Yes, they always come by the close-up corral, explains Chloe. Without us pregnant cows, the milk cycle stops. The next morning, Roxy awakes to the voices of Grattan's third grade class gathering near her corral. Roxy walks over to find Chloe licking her new calf. Roxy listens as her farmer starts the tour. Good morning. There's no better place to start our tour than at the beginning of the milk cycle with the birth of a brand new calf. This female calf will grow up to produce milk. Her average milk production will be about 2,305 gallons of milk a year, or about 8 to 10 gallons every day. California cow produce more milk than any other state, states Farmer Reese. Can anyone name a product made from milk? A student shouts, ice cream! Yes. It takes 12 pounds of milk to make one pound of ice cream, 10 pounds of milk to make one pound of cheese, and 21 pounds of milk to make one pound of butter, says Farmer Reese. Wow, exclaimed the children. My wife made chocolate chip cookies using butter and chocolate chips made from milk. We have ice cold milk for you to dip them in. By drinking milk, you're getting calcium and vitamin D to strengthen your teeth and bones, says Farmer Reese. As the tour moved on, Roxy was excited about her part in the cycle of feeding the world. Soon, her calf would arrive, and she wondered if her milk would help make cow lafornia cookies someday. Well, my dad, um, he, was, he works in the dairy business, and uh, he grew up on a dairy. So cows have always been a part of our life in the dairy, and we go to work with them sometimes. So we wanted to incorporate cows into my um, story. So we write, wrote about cows and cookies. Um, we've consulted my father and we have have some sources online that we have looked at and that's where we found our information. Oh, I was very excited. 
Um, I've been trying to win state since third grade, and I have really tried my best, and I was over the moon excited about winning. Um, it was New Year's Day, and so uh, we were at my aunt's house, and we had just taken a picture, and my mom had said, Grace, you won state. I was in like complete shock. I didn't know what to say, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, that's amazing!" And I, I, I was just, I didn't know what to say. I was so excited. Mm, um. Well, you see, my teacher this year, uh, she didn't do it. So our third grade teacher, Mrs. Amrell, she, uh, she started a writing club, and she was like, "Grace, would you like to join?" Um, I know you're really like this. And I was like, oh, yeah, sure. And so we came up with ideas and stuff, and we decided on cows. And I, I was happy that I could write with her. It is very um, useful because I've written about corn and salmon and pluots. And so I have, like, learned facts and other stuff that has absolutely been, like, things I haven't even known. So it is very important for kids to, like, push their limit and um, try like new things that they can write about instead of writing about just like a fantasy story, which it is. But um, it's good because you're not only writing about um, fictional characters, you're writing about facts. And you not only when you write do other people learn if they um, read it, but you learn in the process of doing so. So it, I think it is very important.